Shalom Aleichem, Rabbi Wilhelm. Hi, Ben Sien. What's nice? This or that? I think they're both nice. They both are in bloom. One is in, is um, in bloom physically over here, and the other one makes you bloom spiritually. Aha, uh -huh. so this is a spiritual growth. Now, I think it's a little mixed up. I'm not going to say where I'm standing right now. Yeah, please don't. Okay, because the person <laughs> who has this outside is a little mixed up. Today's not Hanukkah. Today is Pesach Sheni. And Pesach Sheni has tremendous amount of... I'm very relaxed, Baruch Hashem, today, because on Pesach Sheni gives us hope. Oh, I thought it was the medicine that kicked in. <laughs> Why does Pesach Sheni give us hope? Because we know the teaching from the Free of the Kerebbe that Pesach Sheni teaches us in Shtok and for Fallen. Don't give up. No matter what you did, the past is the past. <laughs> Buckle down, tighten your belt, start all over again. And start all over again, and there is hope. Yesh tikva. Now, I, I thought about a thought. You know, the, the, the minute is that we eat on Pesach Sheni matzahs. And preposterous, because the ones who brought the carbon on Pesach Sheni uh, also ate it with matzah. You can't have it with a uh, lafa. You can't have it, even though it's, you're allowed to have chametz, you can't make a pita bread uh, Pesach Sheni. You, have to, you can have it in your house, but with the Pesach Sheni, you still need the matzah. Now, it's customary that we have handmade matzah and round matzahs. What's the significance of the round matzahs? So for the night of the Seder, why we use round matzahs, there are many, many reasons, either because either because it says ugois matzahs, that's how the Torah refers to it, uga means uh, eagle, around, or because it's a symbol of being poor. Uh, it's, it's, uh, poor, why poor? Because it's a, single, a, a symbol of avelus, actually. Mm -hmm. why, why do uh, avelum eat eggs? Because uh, uh, egg is round, and you you say to yourself, you know, the world keeps on turning, it keeps on going, which which is actually uh, that could also be on the flip side a positive thing. Like that's what I'm. That's, oh, I've been seeing you. You're you're on the ball today. I saw the script. So <laughs> that's why the, the the flip side, as you say, the positive side, what goes around comes around. Now some say that the Mitzrayim didn't want to, didn't like the round challah. The round ugo, they didn't give us matzah necessarily because they like square stuff. They like a, a spread of ideas. There's one corner, another corner, a third corner, a fourth corner, whatever it is. They don't want one identity. We know it's one, it's one abishter, and the one abishter is in control of everything. You go around and around. And, and if somebody in Nebuch had a situation in his life, that wasn't good, just remember, what goes around comes around. It's a gal gal ha There's the Yidin, our daimim lilavana. The Yidin compare, they, they count the, the, the months, their calendar is based on the, on the moon, because the moon, sometimes it's concealed, but we all know at the, at the beginning of the month, at the 15th of the month and onward, it's going to be, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So Rabbi Sai, Pesach Sheni, when you have a second chance, you're eating round matzahs. Remember, there is hope. And not only there is hope, it's going to be good. What goes around comes around, and you will be on top sooner or later. One question. When do we actually have the matzah on Pesach Sheni? By oh, night, you by asked, day? You asked, that, you asked a tough question. The Rebbe writes, the Rebbe brings from the Menchus Alazar, that really, during the day, is you want to you want to eat it when the carbon Pesach, in connection to the carbon Pesach. The carbon Pesach... They shechted during the day, but you ate in the evening. So you know what, a guy, I've been seeing a guy like you, take a piece of matzah in the morning and take a piece of matzah in the evening. So you'll be yoitzer. And if you want, this time I will allow you to smear some cream cheese on it too. Okay. Thank you so much, Rabbi Wilhelm. Welcome to you. It's never too late.